Welcome to Unbreakable You. I'm Dr. Leif Smith, and today's topic, urgency. So when we're talking about urgency, one question comes to mind for me. Are you happy? And I mean that truthfully. Are you happy? Are you happy with your life? Are you happy with the way it has turned out versus the way you thought it would turn out? I probably know the answer because if you're like me, on some aspects of your life, you can say, no, I'm not. And I was thinking about this the other day, and that's why I decided to shoot this video. And that's why I decided to shoot it here, in a cemetery of all places. Because nowhere else is the sense of urgency more important than when you're walking through a cemetery. And when you see these people who had lives, who had children, who had families, who had lovely weddings, who had dreams, who met at coffee houses for wonderful conversations, and now they're all sitting here, laying here, I should say, silently. They're done. Their lives are over. And so I always feel a solemn sense of urgency when I'm in a cemetery, a sense of respect for these people that have lived their lives and have now passed on. And it gives me a sense of urgency because I realize that I too am headed there. You are also. You're headed the same place that everybody here is headed. We're all destined. As soon as we're born, that clock is ticking. And we're all headed towards here. And so that should give us a sense of urgency. And I was talking to a client the other day and it really hit home for me when we were talking about a quiet sense of urgency in his life. He came in because he's unhappy with the way things are. 50 years old, got a good job at a big company here in town. And he's not happy, he's just not satisfied. And what he really wants to do is pursue life. He wants to go somewhere. He wants to travel the world. He wants to do things, he wants to live his dreams. But he feels stuck, stuck in his security, stuck in the fact that he has a good life here and he doesn't know if he can take that risk. It's too scary for him. And so when I'm talking about a sense of urgency, what I was talking to him about is, what happens if you don't take this risk? Okay, so what is the difference between living a life filled with urgency and being frantic? Well, there's a big difference, and I think you know the difference. Being frantic is running around with your head cut off, pursuing things that make you happy in your mind, right? That make us happy in our minds, and we still don't have that happiness. Whether it's a bigger car, a bigger house, a better job, more money, more things. Being frantic is running around, pursuing those things, and still not being happy. And I like to contrast that with being urgent. To me, to live with quiet urgency means you have purpose. You have reasons behind what you are doing. You are able to delay short-term pleasure for long-term satisfaction. And that's a very important concept in life because there's a lot of short-term pleasure around us. We are in a instant gratification world. And that's where we slip into the frantic side of life instead of the urgency, the urgent side of life, which I think is the most important part, living with a sense of urgency. And so how do we do that? Number one, we've got to change our perspective. And that's why I'm filming here today. We've got to change our perspective. It might seem morbid to you, but I think the more that we can come to terms with the fact that we are all headed towards death, none of us escape that. When we can come to terms with that, it frees us up to live a better life. It really does. And so that's where my quiet sense of urgency comes from. I want something to live on beyond me. I want to help people. I want there to be something beyond me when I'm gone, because I don't know what happens next. I know what happens now, but I don't know what happens next. I have some ideas, but I have no certainty, nor do you. So we need to start with perspective. And it doesn't need, to, we don't need to have a big event in life for that to come. We don't need to wait for a funeral. We don't need to wait for a wedding. We don't need to wait for a marriage to happen, for a job loss, anything. We don't need to wait for that to feel urgent and to start having some urgency in our lives. So what I want you to do is first start with the perspective of, am I living life according to the terms that I wanted to set out to live them? Am I living my life in the way that I want to? Am I living it on my terms? Am I pursuing the things that truly make me happy? 
Do my relationships fulfill me? Does my job make me happy? Do I feel like I'm contributing something bigger than myself? That's what we need to start with. That's the starting point for everything. If we want to feel better, if we want to feel less frantic, that's the starting point. And so I hope it doesn't take something big happening to you for you to start implementing what I'm talking about today. Perspective is everything. And when we can live, and I've talked about this in my other Unbreakable You videos, I've talked about the whole idea of changing your, your, your mindset. And I've also talked about setting your intention on a daily basis for how you want to live your day. Well, today I'm talking about putting some gas on the fire and living your life in the way that you want to live it. Pursuing the things that make you happy. Pursuing the things that add value to your life and to the lives of others. That is what I'm talking about with urgency. And so if you can start doing that today, you're on the right path. If you still feel like you're running around trying to keep up with the Joneses, trying to pursue things that don't make you happy, then you need to start looking within. And you need to start thinking about what really makes you happy. And it doesn't mean you need to wait until midlife, like my client, to do that. I'm Dr. Lave Smith. Thank you for being with me today, and I'll see you next time.